Good morning, everyone. Greetings from my roof. Today is the big day. Solar is getting installed today. Um, thinking through where I'm going to put cameras right now, but the guys should get here uh, any minute now. So it's going to be an interesting balance of trying to actually get work done today um, and getting footage for you guys, but should be fun. They came yesterday and got uh, the gateway and main cutoff set up, so they actually don't have to take power down at all today. So they're going to put the panels up, put the inverters down in the basement, put the power walls down in the basement, and cut some holes in the ceiling to pull a very thick gauge wire from um, the outside shutoff all the way through to my, um, my basement workroom. If you have any questions after you watch this about the install process or about solar, solar itself or about the power walls, just drop them in the comments below and I'll address them in future videos. There's definitely gonna be more to this series. So, you know, looking for your questions or ideas to, to make for future videos. Well, let's dive in. I'm still trying to determine how much time I'm actually going to spend up here on the roof. Um, I don't want to get in these guys' way, and actually there's there's one piece of roof that's really easy for me to get to, and then the rest of the places where the panels are going to go would require two ladders. Not sure I want to get into that, so uh, I'll try and get a camera up there, uh, but for the most part I'm going to stay down on kind of this, uh, this one piece of roof. There's going to be some panels going right here, but it's really easy for me to get in and out. Um, that window is my wife's office and I can just kind of climb right out it. All right, well the guys are rolling in now. Um, don't know if there's a big truck coming with panels or they're just gonna throw them in the back of a van. Was hoping to get a shot of them coming in. Don't know if that's gonna happen. Um, anyway, off we go. Here's some B-roll. A lot of stuff going into the house. And these are the stack of my panels. They are obviously uh, following OSHA rules here and being very, very safe. They've got the whole place taped off. Um, but they also mount anchors into the roof um, so that they can secure themselves to it. Awesome. I wonder how they fill those. I'll keep an eye on it. Well, just a quick little filming update here. I thought I had a perfect spot for a 360 camera on the roof where I could see both the lower and the upper uh, areas of the roof where they were gonna be working. Unfortunately, it was exactly where they needed to put ladders to get up and down. So I'll put the drone up a little bit later to get some filming, but I won't have the full time lapse that I wanted to get. Oh well. I love the look of these. They're just super clean, black on black, small tiles. You don't see any you know, big metal hexes or big metal frames. Kind of brings up one of the questions as I hold it like this. What happens if sun hits them um, while they're not plugged in or connected to the battery or the grill grid and you know that big disconnect is turned off. I'll ask the question tomorrow. So my wife stepped out of her office for a couple of minutes so I'm borrowing it to show you out her window here. Um, but those are the mounting points um, which again I'm going to try and go down to the ground and grab one to show you. And uh, here I guess 
is the bottom track. So that uh, does double duty. It hides uh, the gap, if you will, between the roof and the panel from the ground. So it makes them look pretty good. Uh, but it also is kind of the base track that they mount to. So they lean the panels into those and then snap them into the next mounting point. I'm gonna try and hold it as steady as possible to show you these things, but those are the uh, mounting brackets that they mount everything into. Um, I think there is just one lag bolt down into those studs that I showed you guys earlier. If you look on the left, and I'll put an arrow on the screen, that is the sealant fill port. So basically, they put a bolt down in here, um, start tightening down, put some sealant in, and then crank it down all the way. And you can see that it's actually coming out the sides a little bit as well, which means um, I don't think these things are ever going to leak. Well, I figured one of the questions you guys might have is, do they need to get into your attic doing the install? Uh, assuming you don't have any electronic equipment up here, your uh, breaker box or that kind of stuff. Um, the answer is no. Um, so they, they lag bolt right into the roof through the, um, through their mounting anchors and they go, try and go straight up, straight into a joist when they mount. Um, I found one where they missed though. So let's show you that. Uh, where is it? It is right here. Not the best lighting in the world, but it is right here. So you can see they missed, but they filled it with their, uh, special sealant that they run through those mounting points um, should seal it right up not be a problem but my guess is they went right into this beam the whole way down I probably should have asked them but my guess is they have some sort of fancy stud finder on steroids to find these through uh, both shingles and the uh, roofing plywood but hey they did pretty well well, update number two, it's raining cats and dogs, and I don't know if you could hear that, but it, just some pretty loud thunder. Um, I think the guys are still up on the roof. I know one of them's taking a lunch break, but I feel kind of bad for them. Um, hopefully they get off of there. They you know, don't want to create a safety issue. But I was just put, about to put the drone up to get some shots of where they stand, because I've been at the computer doing some work, and I actually don't know what the roof looks like. Um, but... Uh, We'll see, I'll put it up later. You'd never know it from the weather now, but the earlier lightning delays, uh, they had to come down off the roof a couple of times, uh, means they didn't finish. Not a big deal, they'll be back tomorrow and, and get things buttoned up. It looks to me like basically they've got all the mounting points up, they just have to get the panels up there and then pull the cable. Good morning everyone, greetings from day two. It's gonna be an awesome sunny day out. I think these panels are gonna go up real quick. So I couldn't get a uh, one of these mounts before they pulled away. Uh, I tried to grab one out of the truck but didn't see any. But wanted to show you what they are. Here we go, right there. One lag bolt into the roof. Looks like three bolts into the mount. And then your seal port there. It just seals around that bolt. And here's a little bit of a close-up of the bottom rail. So they come in, looks like probably six foot, eight foot sections. Uh, they bolt them together here. And then they just mount right down onto those mounts. The panels will lean against that and they'll just stack up into the, uh, into the next set. And then down there you've got our supervisor. Just making sure everything's okay this morning. The remaining things they've got to do today, they've, they've got to run the DC cable that goes between all the panels. They've got to get the panels up and plugged in. Uh, they've got to run some conduit down the side of the house to carry that, which will then go into the equipment room where the inverter is. Uh, chatted with the foreman this morning. Uh, they actually came up with a couple of cool ideas to hide that conduit coming down the side of the house. They're going to put it behind a gutter. Uh, pretty impressed that they're taking the time to make sure things look right. Uh, super happy about that. Um, and they also told me that they uh, are going to paint the conduit black on the roof and white against the house. So it's going to look really, really good and be very hidden. A bit busy again today with work, so not going to be out here filming too much, but uh, I'll get as many shots as I can. But super excited uh, to be able to 
quote, flip the switch. I know that's not happening today, but they're at least gonna do a, uh, a test run with the power walls and take me off grid for a little bit. So, you know, step one, and then we'll just be waiting on uh, the electric company to come switch out our meter uh, and give us the go ahead to turn on. This isn't exactly as, as I had planned it. I thought it was just gonna be power walls inside, but it's actually better uh, because these two boxes are not on the outside of the house now. So, well, I can't use my tall shelving, this thing that used to be right there, I can find something shorter and put it there. So that'll be great. So here's a little more about the panels and the system. Uh, the panels are Q-Cells Q-Peak Duo Black G6 Plus panels. These are the latest that Tesla offers. They're 340 uh, watt nominal power. So these are, you know, very efficient. I think back to when my business did a uh, solar farm five or six years ago. Those panels, uh, max nominal power was uh, 255. So, you know, very big gains over the course of a few years. These are the micro inverters uh, from Solar Edge. Every two panels gets one of these, and they have uh, quick disconnects, so two connects to each panel, so they mount up really quickly. The box on the left is my generation sub-panel. The top switch there is to, to cut off all generation, and then each of the following gets a smaller breaker. The panels themselves, and then each one of the three power walls. On the right there, that box is the Solar Edge HD Wave. It works with the microinverters I showed you previously to convert uh, the DC current that's generated by the panels into AC that the home power walls and grid can use. It also has the main shutoff for um, the solar generation. Depending on the size of your system, you may need a larger inverter or uh, multiples of these inverters. It really depends how many panels you have. Um, I have 24 and I believe this can handle a few more, uh, but just keep that in mind as you look at your system. The outside of the house is a mix between a real slick system and some of the old gear that hopefully someday they replace and make look a little better. On the left there, you've got the main generation panel cut off. So this will cut off any generation back to the grid either power wall or solar. In the middle, you have Tesla's Gateway 2.0. This is the one that they just came out with. Here's a shot of the inside. Uh, it's kind of mid hook up there, so it doesn't have all the wires in the generation. It basically decides how power flows through your system. Are you using the grid? Are you using solar? Are you using the batteries? And how power flows in between all of those. And then the final box there, you can see it's missing a meter right now, but that's where the meter goes. Once I get permission to operate, there will be a meter that spins both ways, so I get credit as I send power to the grid. Well, thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate it. If you like the video, please hit the thumbs up. It makes a huge difference for the YouTube algorithm. If you want to see more videos like this, you can either subscribe in the button down over here, or you can um, follow the playlist, um, which maybe I'll link up here. Don't know if that's going to work. Putting all the solar videos in there. So there's a series of these, both kind of the buying process, the install process, and eventually, you know, what this is going to generate once they turn it on and it runs for a while. And if you guys are considering buying solar or Powerwall or a Tesla, my referral code is down in the description. Use that when you're buying. I'll get a little uh, um, either cash back or charging credits and you'll get a discount. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you on the next video.